Introduction and Preface of English as She is Spoke This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by J. A. Carter English as She is Spoke by Pedro Carolino Introduction and Preface English as She is Spoke or a jest in sober earnest, with an introduction by James Millington. Introduction From the time of Shakespeare downwards, wits and authors innumerable have made themselves and the public more or less merry at the expense of the earlier efforts of the student of a strange tongue. But it has been reserved to our own time for a soi disant instructor to perpetuate, at his own expense, the monstrous joke of publishing a guide to conversation in a language of which it is only too evident that every word is utterly strange to him. The Teutonic sage, who evolved the ideal portrait of an elephant from his inner consciousness, was a commonplace matter-of-fact person compared with the daring visionary who conjures up a complete system of language from the same fertile but untrustworthy source, the piquancy of Signor Pedro Carolino's new guide of the conversation in Portuguese and English is enhanced by the evident bona fides and careful compilation of the little book, or as Pedro himself gravely expresses it, for the care of what we wrote him and for her typographical correction. In short, the new guide of the conversation in Portuguese and English was written with serious intent and for the purpose of initiating Portuguese students into the mysteries of the English language. The earlier portions of the book are divided into three columns, the first giving the Portuguese, the second what, in the opinion of the author, is the English equivalent, and the third the English equivalent phonetically spelt, so that the Tyro may at the same time master our barbarous phraseology and the pronunciation thereof. In the second part of the work, the learner is supposed to have sufficiently mastered the pronunciation of the English language to be left to his own devices. A little consideration of the shaping of our author's English phrases leads to the conclusion that the materials used have been a Portuguese-French phrasebook and a French-English dictionary. With these slight impedimenta, has the daring Lusitanian ventured upon the unknown deep of a strange language, and the result, to quote again from the preface, may be worth the acceptation of the studious persons, and especially of the youth, at which we dedicate him particularly, but will at all events contribute not a little to the youth's hilarity. To begin with the vocabulary, it is perhaps hardly fair to expect a professor of languages to trouble himself with degrees of kindred. Still, such titles as gossip mistress, a relation, and relation, a guardian and guardian, the quarter grandfather, the quarter grandmother, require some slight elucidation, and passing over the catalogue of articles of dress, which are denominated objects of man and woman objects, one may take exception to crumbs and groceries, which are inserted among plates and cruets as ordinary table garniture. Among what are denominated eatings, we find some wigs, a dainty dishes, a mutton shoulder, a little mine, hog fat, and an amulet. The menu is scarcely appetizing, especially when among fishes and shellfishes our Portuguese Lusula sets down the hedgehog, snail, and wolf. After this, such trifles as starch, arranged under the heading of metals and minerals, and brick and white lead, under that of common stones, fall almost flat but one would like to be initiated into the mysteries of gleek, carousal, and keel, which are gravely asserted to be games. Among chivalry orders, one has a glimmering of what is intended by St. Michaelmas and Barry Merritt, but under the heading of degrees, although by a slight exercise of the imagination we can picture to ourselves a quartermaster, a general to galleries, or even a vessel captain, we are entirely nonplussed by a harbinger and a parapet. Passing on to familiar phrases, most of which appear to be old friends with new faces, Signor Carolino's literal cribs from the French become more and more apparent, in spite of his boast in the preface of being 
clean of gallicisms and despoiled phrases. I ply you at the study during that you are young is doubtless an excellent precept, and as he remarks further on, how do you can it to deny? But study may be misdirected, and in the moral no less in the material world, it is useful to know that are the dishes whom you must be and to abstain. While the meaning of this girl have a beauty edge is scarcely clear unless it relates to the preternatural acuteness of the fair sex in these days of board schools and women's rights. Further on, the conversationalist appears to get into rough company, and we find him remarking, He laughs at my nose, he jests by me. Galassi, il me rit au nez, il se moque de moi. He has me take out my hairs, he does me some kicks, he has scratched the face with her nails, all doubtlessly painfully translated with the assistance of a French-English dictionary from Il m'a arraché les chevaux, Il me donne des coups de pied, Il me lacère la figure de ses anglaises. It is noticeable that our instructor, as a rule, endeavors to make the possessive pronoun agree with the substantive in number and gender in orthodox Portuguese fashion, and that like a true grammatical patriot, he insists upon the substantive having the same gender as in his native tongue. Therefore, a un ha may be rendered hers nails, and voisa civilidis, yours civilities. By this time, no one will be disposed to contradict our inimitable Pedro when he remarks il facito, giving the translation as, he has the word for to laugh, a construction bearing a suspicious resemblance to il a le mot pour rire. He do the devil at four has no reference to an artful scheme for circumventing the archfiend at a stated hour, but is merely a simulacrum of the well-known Gallic idiomatic expression, il fait le diable a quatre. Truly this is excellent fooling. Punch, in his wildest humor, backed by the whole colony of Leicester Square, could not produce funnier English. He burns oneself the brains. He was fighted in duel. They fight one's selfs together. He do want to fall. Would be more intelligible, if less picturesque, in their original form of Il s'est brûlé la cervelle, Il s'est battu en duel, Il se battant ensemble, Il manquait de tomber. The comic vein running through the familiar phrases is so inexhaustible that space forbids further quotation from this portion of the book, which may be appropriately closed with Help to a little, most the better yours terms. A mysterious adjuration, which a reference to the original Portuguese leads one to suppose may be a daring guess at Choisez en pure, mieux beau parole. In the second part, entitled Familiar Dialogues, the fun grows fast and furious. Let us accompany our mad wag upon the walk. You hear the birds gurgling, he inquires, and then rapturously exclaims, which pleasure, which charm, the field has by me a thousand charms. After this, to the question, are you a hunter, will you go to the hunting in one day this week? He responds, willingly, I have not a most pleasure in the world. There is some game on the canton. Proceeding from game to gaming, we soon run aground upon the word je, which, as we know, does duty in French both for a game and a pack of cards. At what pack will you that we does play? To the cards. Of course, this is A quel je voulez-vous que nous jouons? Au card. And further on, This time I have a great deal pack. Cette fois j'ai un jeu excellent. Now let us listen to our friend at his tailor's. His greeting is perky, almost slangy. Can you do me a coat? He inquires, but quickly drivels down to What cloth will you do to? And then to the question, what will you double, doublé, the coat, obtains the satisfactory answer from something of duration. I believe to you that, after requesting to have his garment, the rather that be possible, he overwhelms the procrastinating man of cloth with the stern remark, you have me done to expect to, evidently a bold version of, vous m'avez fait trop attendre, which draws forth the natural excuse, I did can't to come rather. Passing by a number of good things which one would like to analyze if space permitted, we arrive at For to Ride a Horse, 
a fine little bit of word painting, almost Carlylean in its grotesqueness. Here is a horse who have a bad looks. He not sal no to march. He is Percy. He is foundered. Don't you are ashamed to give me a jade as like? He is unshoed. He is with nails up. It want to lead to the farrier. Let us prick, piquant. Go us more fast. Never I was seen a so much bad beast. She will not, nor to bring forward neither put back. Struck him the bridle, cries the horse dealer. Hold him the rein charters. Peak strong, Lee, make to marsh him. I have pricked him enough, but I can't to make marsh him, replies the indignant client. Go down, I shall make marsh, declares the dealer, upon which the incensed equestrian rejoins, Take care that he not give you a foot kicks, and the coper, sardonically but somewhat incoherently, concludes with, Then he kicks for that I look? Sook here if I knew to tame hicks. After the familiar dialogues, we come upon a series of letters from celebrated personages who would be puzzled to recognize themselves in their new dresses, and a collection of anecdotes, which may be taken singly after dinner as a gentle promoter of digestion, the whole being appropriately concluded with idiotisms and proverbs, between which, it must be confessed, the distinction is purely imaginary. The following are a few gems. It's are some bleu stories. Conte Blue. Nothing some money, nothing some Swiss. He sin in trouble water, confusion of Peche with acute accent, and Peche with circumflex accent. A horse bard don't look him the tooth. The stone as roll, not heap up, not foam. Moose meaning both foam and moss. Of course, the wrong meaning is essential to a good idiotism. To force to forge become smith. A force de forger en deviant forgeron. To crunch the marmoset and to fatten the foot may terminate the list and are incontestably more idiotic, though scarcely so idiomatic, as croquet la marmon and grossier la pâté. The column in Portuguese, which runs throughout the original work, is omitted and only a sufficient number of English extracts are culled to enable the reader to form a just idea of the unintentionally humorous style that the author may fall into who attempts to follow the intricacies of English as she is spoke by the aid of a French dictionary and a phrase book. It is to be trusted the eccentric guide to which this short sketch is intended to serve as introduction and so far as may be elucidation is not a fair specimen of Portuguese or Brazilian educational literature, if such be the case, the schoolmaster is indeed abroad, and one may justly fear that his instruction, to quote once more the preface, only will be for to accustom the Portuguese pupils, or foreign, to speak very bad any of the mentioned idioms. Preface Authors A choice of familiar dialogues, clean of gallicisms and despoiled phrases, it was missing yet to studious Portuguese and Brazilian youth and also to persons of other nations that wish to know the Portuguese language. We sought all we may do to correct that want, composing and devising the present little work in two parts. The first includes a greatest vocabulary proper names by alphabetical order, and the second forty-three dialogues adapted to the usual precisions of the life. For that reason we did put with a scrupulous exactness a great variety own expressions to English and Portuguese idioms, without to attach us selves, as make some others, almost at a literal translation. Translation what only will be for to accustom the Portuguese pupils, or foreign, to speak very bad any of the mentioned idioms. We were increasing this second edition with a phraseology in the first part, and some familiar letters, anecdotes, idiotisms, proverbs, and the second a coin's index. The works which we were conferring for this labor fond use us for nothing. But those what were publishing to Portugal or out, they were almost all composed for some foreign or for some national little acquainted in the spirit of both languages. It was resulting from that corelessness to rest these works fill of imperfections and anomalies of style. In spite of the infinite typographical faults which sometimes invert the sense of the periods it increased not to contain any of those works the figured pronunciation of the English words, 
nor the prosodical accent in the Portuguese. Indispensable object, whom wish to speak the English and Portuguese languages correctly. We expect, then, who the little book, for the care what we wrote him, and for her typographical correction, that may be worth the acceptation of the studious persons, and especially of the youth at which we dedicate him particularly. End of Introduction and Preface Recording by J. A. Carter www.afewparagraphs.com Chapter 1. Vocabulary and Familiar Phrases of English as She is Spoke by Pedro Carolino. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by J. A. Carter. English as She is Spoke. Vocabulary. Of the man. The brain. The brains. The fat of the leg. The ham. The inferior lip the superior lip, the marrow, the reins. Defects of the body. A blind, a lame, a bald, a left-handed, an ugly, a squint-eyed, a deaf. Degrees of kindred. The gossip, the gossip mistress, the nurse, a relation, an relation, the quarter grandfather, the quarter grandmother, a guardian, an guardian, a widower, an widow. Trades Starch maker, barber, coffee man, pork shop keeper, cartwright, tinker, a brazier, nailer, porter, chinaman, Founder, grave digger, tradesman, stocking mender, locksmith. Objects of man. The boots, the buckles, the buttonholes, the buskins, the lining, the clogs, the wig, the morning gown, nightgown. Woman objects. The busk, the sash, the cornet, the pumps, the paint or disguise, the spindle, the patches, the skate. Servants, coochman, running footman, spendeth, businessman, groom. Diseases, the apoplexy. The scrofulous, the melancholy, the migrime, the whitlow, the rheumatism, the vomitory. Parties a town, the butchery, the causeway, the sink, the low eating house, the obelisks, the prison, jail. Kitchen utensils, the skimming dish, the pot lid, the pot hanger, the sponge, the spark, the fire, the smoke, the clout, the jack. Of the bed, the bedwood, the bed batum, the feet's bed, the pillar's bed, the head's bed. For the table, some knives, some groceries, some crumb. Eatings, some black pudding, some sugar plum, some wigs, a chitterling sausages, a dainty dishes, a mutton shoulder, a little mine, hog fat, some march pains, an amulet, a slice, steak, vegetables boiled to a pap. Seasonings, some wing, some cinnamon, some oranges, some pinions, some hog's lard, some verjuice. Drinkings, some orgiate, some paltry wines, some syrup or syrup. Quadrupeds beasts, lamb, ass, 
Shy ass, ass colt. Ram, Aries. Roebuck, dragon, wild sow, lioness, dormouse. Birds, Becafico, Calander, Store, Young Turkey, Heathcock, Whoop, Peacock, Pinch, Red Breast, a Robin. Insects, Reptiles, Asp, Aspic, Morpion, Fly, Butterfly, Serpent. Fishes and shellfishes. Calamari. Dorado. A sort of fish. Hedgehog. Large lobster. Snail. Wolf. Torpedo. Sea calf. Trees. Lote tree. Lotos. Chest nut tree. Service tree. Jujube tree. Linden tree. Flowers. Anemone. Blue bottle. Milfoils. Hink. Turnsole. Hunting. Hunting dog. Relay dog. Hound dog. Hound's fee. Picker. Gunpowder. Priming powder. Huntsman. Colors. White, cray, gridlin, musk, red. Metals and minerals. Starch, cooper, latin, plaster, vitriol. Common stones. Lodestones, brick, white lead, gumstone. Weights. Counterpoise, a pound and half, an obol, a quarter ounce. Games, football, bar, gleek, carousal, pile, mall, even or non-even, keel. Perfumes, benzoin, perfume paw, pomatum. Storax. On the church, the sides of the nef, the holy water pot, the little cellar, the boby of the church. Solemn feasts, the dead's day, the twelfth day, the vigil, the visitation. Ecclesiastical dignities, incumbent, canon. Canoness, chanter, a clerk, general of a order, penitentiary, theologist, general curate. Chivalry orders, black eagle, avis, advice, calatrava, elephant, honor legion, St. Michael mess, very merit. Degrees, a cannoneer, a vessel captain, a harbinger, a parapet, a army general, a general to galleries, a great admiral, a king, a lieutenant, a quartermaster, a vice admiral's ship. Military objects, the bait, an arquebus, a bandolier, the fire pan, a bomb catch, the military case, a fusil, a gun. Music's instruments. A flagellate, a dream, a hurdy-gurdy. Chastisements. A fine, honorable fine, to break upon, to tear off the flesh, to draw to four horses. Familiar phrases. Go to send for. Have you say that? Have you understand that he says? At what purpose have say so? Put your confidence at my. At what o'clock dine him? Apply you at the study during that you are young. 
Dress your hairs. Sing an area. These apricots and these peaches make me and to come water in mouth. How do you can it to deny? Wax my shoes. That's what I have, think. That are the dishes whose you must be and to abstain. The meat ist not to overdo. This ink is white. This room is filled of bugs. This girl have a beauty edge. It is a noise which to cleave the head. This wood is full of thieves. Tell me, it can one to know? Give me some good milk newly get out. Tomorrow, I shall be entirely her master or unoccupied. She do not that to talk and to cackle. Dry this wine. He laughs at my nose, he jests by me. He has spit in my coat. He has me take out my hairs. He does me some kicks. He has scratched the face with hers nails. He burns one's self the brains. He is valuable, his weight's gold. He has the word for to laugh. He do the devil at four. He make to weep the room. He was fighted in duel. They fight oneself together. He do want to fall. It must never to laugh of the unhappies. He was wanting to be killed. I am confused all your civilities. I am catched cold. I not make what to cough hand spit. Never I have feckled a such heat. Till sayest, till hither. I have put my stockings outward. I have cropped the candle. I have mind to vomit. I will not sleep on street. I am catched cold in the brain. I am pinking me with a pin. I did myself in envy to see her. I take a broth all morning. I shall not tell you than two woods. Have you understanded? Let him have no. Have you understand they? Do you know they? Do you know they too? The storm is go over. The sun begins to dissipate. Which prefer you? The paving stone is slippery. The thunderbolt is falling down. The rose trees begins to button. The ears are too length. The hands itch at him. Have you forgetted me? Lay him here apron. Help to a little most the better yours terms. Don't you are awakened yet? That should must me to cost my life. We are in the canicule. No budge you there. Do not might ones understand to speak. Where are their stockings, their shoes, her shirt, and her petlicot? Ones can to believe you. Ones find modesty the young men rarely, if can't to please at every ones. Take that boy and whip him too much. Take attention to cut yourself. Take care to dirt yourself. Dress my horse. Since you not go out, I shall go out, nor I neither. That may dead if I lie you. What is it who want you? Why you no helps me to? Upon my live. All trees have very deal bare. A throat's ill. You shall catch cold ones. You make grins. Will some mutton? Will you fat or slight? Will you this? Will you a bon? You not make who to babble. You not make that to prate all day's work. You interrompt me. You mistake you self heavily. You come too rare. End first parts. End of chapter one. Vocabulary and familiar phrases. Recording by J. A. Carter. www.afewparagraphs.com Chapter 2 of English as She is Spoke by Pedro Carolino. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Elsie Selwyn. Familiar Dialogues. 
Familiar Dialogues For to wish the good morning. How does your father do? He is very well. I am very delight of it. Where is it? I shall come back soon. I was no came that to know how you are. For make a visit in the morning. Is your master at home? Yes, sir. Is it up? No, sir, he sleep yet. I go make that he get up. It come in ones? How is it you are in bed yet? Yesterday evening I was to bed so late I may not rising me soon that morning. Well, what have you done after the supper? We have sung, danced, laugh, and played. What game? To the picket. Whom I am sorry do not have know it. Who have prevailed upon? I had gained ten Lewis. Till at what o'clock it's had play one? Until two o'clock after midnight. At what o'clock are you go to bed? Half past three. I am no astonished if you get up so late. What o'clock is it? What o'clock you think is it? I think is not yet eight o'clock. How is that? Eight o'clock. It is ten o'clock struck. It must be then what high rise me quickly. Adieu, my dear, I leave you. If Ken to see you at six o'clock to the hotel from blank, we swill dine to get her. Willingly. Goodbye. For to dress himself. John, make haste, light the fire and dress me. Give me my shirt. There it is, sir. Is it no hot? It is too cold yet. If you like, I will hot it. No, no, bring me my silk stockings. It, sir, make holes. Make it a point or make to mend them. Comb me, take another comb, give me my handkerchief. There is a clean, sir. What coat dress you today? Those that I had yesterday. The tailor do owe to bring soon that of cloth. Have you wexed my shoes? I go wex its now. It must that I may wash my hands, the mouth, and my face. The walk. Will you and take a walk with me? Wait for that the warm be out. Go through that meadow, who the country is beautiful, who the trees are thick. Take the bloom's perfume. It seems me that the corn does push already. You hear the birds gurgling? Which pleasure, which charm? The field has by me a thousand charms. Are you hunter? Will you go to the hunting in one day this week? Willingly, I have not a most pleasure in the world. There is some game on they cantons. We have done a great walk. The weather. We shall have a fine weather today. There is some foggy. I fear of the thunderbolt. The sun rise on. The sun lie down. It is light moons. Four to write. It is today courier's day. I have a letter to write. At which does you write? Is not that? Look, what is that? This letter is arrears. It shall stay to the post. This pen are good for notin. During I finish that letter, do me the goodness to scowl this packet. It is by my cousin. How is the day of month? The two, the three, the four, etc. That is some letter to me. Go to bear they letter to the post. The gaming. Do you like the gaming? At what pack will you that we does play? To the cards. Waiter, give us a cards game. What is the trump? The club's king. Play, if you please. The heart's aces. We do ought. This time I have a great deal packed. With the tailor. Can you do me a coat? 
What cloth will you do to? If we must stuff what's be of season. How much wants the L's for coat, waistcoat, and breeches? Sex L's. What will you to double the coat? From something of duration, I believe to you that. When do you bring me my coat? The rather that be possible. Bring you my coat? Yes, sir, there is it. You have me done to expect to. I did can't to come rather. It don't are finished? The lining war not sewed. It is so that do ones now. Button me. It pinches me too much upon stomach. The sleeves have not them great deal of wideness? No, sir, they are well. With the hairdresser, your razors are them well? Yes, sir. Comb me quickly. Don't put me so much pomatum. What news tell me? All hairs dressers are newsmonger. Sir, I have no heard anything. For to breakfast. John, bring us something for breakfast. Yes, sir, there is some sausages. Will you then I bring the ham? Yes, bring him. We will cup a steak, put a nappe cloth upon this table. I, you do not eat? How you like the tea? It is excellent. Still and not her cup? For to ask some news. Is it true what is told of Master M? Then what is told of him? I have heard that he is hurt mortally. I shall be sorrow of it, because he is an honest man. Which have wounded him? Do know it why? The noise run, that is by to have given a box on the ear to of them. For to buy. I won't have a good and fine cloth to make a coat. How much do you sell it to the L? We thought to overcharge you from a half penny it cost twenty francs. Sir, I am not accustomed to cheapen. Tell me the last price. I have told you, sir, it is valuable in that. It is too much dear I give it at eighteen francs. You shall not have what you have wished. You did beg me my last word, I told you them. Well, well, cut them to L's. Don't you will not more? No, at present. For to dine. Go to dine, the dinner is ready. Cut some bread, here it is. I don't know that boiled meat is good. Gentlemen, will you have some beans? Peter, uncork a porto wine bottle. Sir, what will you do? Some pears and apples, what wilt you? Taste us rather that liquor, it is good for the stomach. I am too much obliged to you, is done. For to speak French. How is the French? Are you too learned now? I could to tell some words that I know by heart. No, apprehend you. The French language is not difficult. I know it, and she have great deal of agreeableness. Who I would be, if I was know it. It must to study for to learn it. How long there is it what you learn it? It is not yet a month. How is it called your master? It is called N. Oh, I know him. It is long. He has teach a many of my friends. Don't he tell you that it must to speak French? For to see the town. Anthony, go to accompany thy gentlesmen. Do they see the town? We won't be able to see all that is remarkable here. Admire this masterpiece, Gothic architectures. The chasing of all the figures is astonishing indeed. The streets are very laid out by line and too paved. There is it also hospitals here? It not fail them. What are then the edifices the worthiest to have seen? It is the Arsenal, the Spectacles Hall, the Cushium House, and the Purse. We are going to see the other's monuments, such that the public pawnbroker's office, the plants gardens, the money offices, the library. To inform oneself of a person. How is that gentleman who you did speak by and by? 
is a German. Tongi is German. He speaks so much well Italian, French, Spanish, and English that among the Italians they believe him Italian. He speaks the French as the French is himself. The Spanish men believe him Spanishing, and the English is Englishman. It is difficult to enjoy well so much several languages. For to ride a horse. Here is a horse who have a bad looks. Give me another. I will not that. He not sal. No to march. He is Percy. He is fondered. Don't you are ashamed to give me a jade as like? He is unjashoed. He is with nails up. It want to lead to the farrier. Your pistols are its loads? No, I forgot to buy gunpowder and balls. Let us prick. Go as more fast. Never I was seen a so much bad beast. She will not nor to bring forward, neither put back. Struck him in the bridle. Hold him the rein charters. Peak strongly make to march him. I have pricked him enough, but I can't to make march him. Go down. I shall make march. Take care that he not give you a foot kicks. Then he kicks for that I look. So here if I knew to tame Hicks. With a watchmaker. I bring you a watch that want to be ordered. I had the misfortune to leave fall down the instant when I did mount it. It must have put again a glass. I want not a pendulum. I have them here some very good. Don't you live me her proof against? I shall not accept that this condition. For to visit a sick. How have you passed the night? Very bad. I have not sleeped. I have had the fever during all night. I feel some pain everywhere body. Live me see your tongue. Have you pain to the heart? Are you altered? Yes, I have thirsty often. Your stat have nothing from lovelsome. What I may eat. You can take a breath. Can I to get up myself? Yes, during an hour or two. Let me have another thing to do. Take care to hold you warmly, and in two or three days you shall be cured. For to travel. Where you go so? I am going to Cadiz. Have you already arrested a coach? Yes, sir, and very cheap. There is it some danger on the highway. It is not spoken that. They speak not that may have some robbers on the woods? It have nothing to fear, or in day neither the night. Don't we pass for a blank? No, sir, they leave it to the left. Let us take patience. Still some o'clock and we shall be in the end of our voyage. With an innkeeper. What you give us for to take supper? Gentlemen, what you will have? Give us a pigeon couple, a piece of ham and a salad. What of us expended? The account mountain little the supper, the bed and the breakfast shall get up at thirty francs. From the housekeeping. I don't know more what I want with they servants. I tell the same, it is not more some good servants. Any one take care to sweep, neither to make fire at what I may be up. How the times are changed. Anciently I had some servants who were divine my thought. The duty was done at the instant. All things were cleanly hold. One may look on the furnitures now as you do see. It is too different whole is covered from dust, the pier glasses, sideboards, the pantries, the chests of drawers, the wall shelves are changed of colors. Believe me, send again whole the people. I take up myself to find you some good servants for to succeed them. Ah, what I shall be obliged to you of it. For the comedy. Were you go to the theater yesterday? Yes, sir, I want to see the new play in which did owe to play an actress which has not appeared on any theater. How you think her? She has very much grace in the deeds, great deal of exactness on the declamation, a constitution very agreeable, and a delightful voice. What you say at the comedy, have her succeeded? It was a drama, it was whisted to the third scene of the last act. Because of that... It haunt the vehicle and the intrigue it was bad conducted. So that they won't wait it, even the upshot? No, it was divined. In the meantime, they did deliver justice to the players, which generally have played very well. 
at the exception by a oneself who had land very much hers part it want to have not any indulgence towards the bat buffoons have you seen already the new tragedy they praise her very much it is multitude already never i had seen the parlour so full this actor he make very well her part that piece is full of interest it have wondered the spectators the curtains let down go out us the hunting there is it some game in the wood another time there was plenty some black beasts and thin game but the poachers have killed almost all look a hare who run let do him to pursue for the hounds it's go oneself in the ploughed land hear that it rouse let aim it let make fire him i have put down killed me i have failed it my gun have miss fix i see a hind let leave to pass away don't distort it i have heard that it is plenty partridges this year have you killed also some thrushes here certainly a very good hunting the fishing that pond it seems me many multiplied of fishes let us amuse rather to the fishing i do like it too much here there is a wand and some hooks silence this is a superb perch give me quick the rod ah there it is it is a lamprey you mistake it it is a frog dip again it in the water with a furniture tradesman that seems no me new pardon me it comes workman's hands what heightness wants you it's i want almost four feet six thumbs wide over seven of long for embarking oneself don't you fear the privateers i jest them my vessel is armed and man of war i have a vigilant and courageous equipage and the ammunitions don't want me it's never have you not done wreck that it is ride me twice with a gardener shall i eat some plums soon it is not the season yet but here is some peaches what does ripen at eye sight it delay me to eat some walnuts kernels take care not to leave to pass the season be tranquil i shall throw you any nuts during the shell is green yet the artichokes grow it i have a particular care of it because i know you like the bottoms it must have cut the trees it should pull the bad grasses up the books end of the reading do you like the reading good deal too many which seem me that is to me an amusement the field all the fields that you see thither were been neglected it must i shall grub up into plowets the ground seem me a little scour with sand and yet it may one make it bring up i want to be foomed time to time the writing your pens have any notches in its spit how do you like it will you it's our finer broad i want me also a wafer or some sealing wax and a seal in this drawer there is all that falding stick rule scraper sod etc there is the postman i go to put it him again with a bookseller what is there in news literature little or almost nothing it not appears anything of note and yet one in print many deal but why you and another bookseller you does not to imprint some good books there is a reason for that it is that you cannot to sell it the actual liking of the public is depraved they does not read who for to amuse oneself and but to instruct ones but the letters men who cultivate the arts and sciences they can't to pass without the books a little learned are happy enough for to may satisfy their fancies on the literature have you found the buffoon who i had called for i have only been able to procure the octo decimo edition which is embellished with plates beautifully colored with a dentist i have the teeth a ache is it a fluxon or have you a bad tooth i think that is a bad tooth please you to examine my mouth you have a bad tooth will you pull out this tooth i can't to decide me it that make me many great deal pain your tooth is absolutely rotted if you leave it shall spoil the others in such case draw it i shall you need also your mouth and you could care entertain it clean for to preserve the mammal of the teeth i could give you an opiate for to strengthen the gums 
I thank you. I prefer the only means, which is to rinse the mouth with some water or a little brandy. With a laundress. Who halt be too washed, too many soaped, and the shirts put through the buck? You may be sure, never I do else. For to swim. I row upon the belly, on the back, and between two waters. I am not so dexterous that you. Nothing is more easy than to swim. It do not what don't to be afraid of. The French language. Do you study? Yes, sir, I attempt to translate of French by Portuguese. Do you know already the principal grammar's rules? I am appealed myself at to learn it by heart. Do speak French always? Sometimes, though I flay it yet. You just, you does express yourself very well. End of chapter two. Chapter three of English as she is spoke by Pedro Carolino. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Elsie Selwyn. Chapter three. Familiar Letters, Anecdotes, Idiotisms, and Proverbs Familiar Letters Racine to Monsieur Vitart My uncle what will to treat her bishop in a great sumptuousness. He was go Avignon for to buy what one not should find there, and he had leave me the charge to provide all things. I have excellent business, as you see, and I know something more than to eat my soup, since I know do to prepare it. I did learn that it must give to the first, to the second, and to the third service, by dishes that want to join, and yet something more, because we does pretend make a feast at four services without to account the dessert. Goodbye, my dear sir, etc. Mother to the Duchess of the Main my lady, I have a complaint to present you, so much happy that might be one's self, one have not all theirs eases in this world. Your letters are shortest, you have played wonderfully all sentiments, less her prattle, etc. Montesquieu to the Abbot Nicolini Allow me, my dear Abbot, who I remind me of your friendship, I recommend you, Monsieur, of the Condamine, I shall tell you nothing, else he is a of my friends. Her great celebrity may tell you from other things, and her presence will say you the remains. My dear abbot, I will love you even the death. Anecdotes Cutler, a very rich man, too many avarish, commonly he was travel at a horse, and single for to avoid all expenses. In the evening, at to arrive at the inn, did feign to be indisposed, to the end that one bring him the supper. He did order to the stable knave to bring in their room some straw, for to put in their boots he made to warm her bed and was to go to sleep. When the servant was draw again, he come up again, and with the straw of their boots and the candle what was leave him, he made a small fire where he was roast a herring what he did keep of her pocket. He was always the precaution one to provide himself of a small of bread and one bring up a water bottle, and thus with a little money. A blind did hide five hundred crowns in a corner of their garden, but a neighbor which was perceive it did dig up and took it. The blind, not finding more her money, was suspect that might be the robed, but one work for take again it. He was going find the neighbor, and told him that he came to get him a counsel, then he was a thousand crowns, which the half was hided into a sure part, and I don't know if want, if to put the remains to the same part. The neighbor was counsel him so, and was hastened to carry back that sum, in the hope soon to draw out a thousand. But the blind, having finded the money, was seized it, having called her neighbor, he told him, Gossip, the blind saw clearer than this that may have two eyes. A man once was presented at a magistrate which had a considerable library. What you make, beg him the magistrate. I do some books, he was answered. But any of your books, I do not see it. I believe it so, was answered the author. I mack nothing for Paris. 
From A of my works is imprinted, I send the edition for America. I don't compose what to colonies. One eyed was laid against a man which had good eyes that he saw better than him. The party was accepted. I had gained over, said the one eyed. Why, I see you two eyes, and you not look me who won. An English lord was in their bed tormented, cruelly of the gout. When was announced him a pretended physician, which had a remedy sure against the illness? The doctor came in coach or on foot, was request the lord. On foot, was answered him the servant. Well, was replied the sick, go tell to the knave what go back oneself, because if he was the remedy, which he exalt himself, he should roll a coach at six horses, and I would be sent for him myself, and to offer him the half part of my lands, for to be delivered of my sickness. A duchess accused of magic being interrogated for a commissary extremely unhandsome, this was beg himself, one she had look the devil. Yes, sir, I did see him, was answered the duchess, and he was like you as two waters drops. A lady which was to dine, child, to her servant, that she had not used butter enough. This girl, for to excuse himself, was bing a little cat on the hand, and told that she came to take him in the crime, finishing to eat the two pounds from butter who remained. The lady took immediately the cat, was put into the balances that had not weighted that one and half pound. A countryman which came through to Paris upon the bridge to the change, not had perceived merchandises in several shops. The curiosity take him, he come near of an exchange desk. Sir, had he begged from a look simple, tell me what you sell. The loader, though, that he made to divert of the personage, I sell was answered him as his heads. Indeed, reply to him the countryman, you make of it a great sale, because it does not remains more but one in your shop. The commander, Forbin of Jansen, being at a repast, with a celebrated Boileau, had undertaken to pun him upon her name. What name told him, carry you thither? Boileau, I would wish better to call me drink wine. The poet was answered him in the same tune, and you, sir, what name have you choice? Jansen, I should prefer to be named John Meal. The meal don't is valuable better than the fur fur. A physician, eighty years of age, had enjoyed of a health unalterable. There's friends did him of its compliments every days. Mr. Doctor, they said to him, you are admirable man. What you make then for to bear you as well? I shall tell you it, gentlemen, he was answered them, and I exhort you in the same time at to follow my example. I live of the product of my ordering without take any remedy who I command to my six. A countryman was confessed to the parson to have robbed a mutton at a farmer of her neighborhood. My friend, told him the confessor, it must to return, for you shall not have the absolution. But replied the villager, I had eaten him. So much worse, told him the pastor. You will be the devil sharing, because in the wide vow where me ought to appear we before God, every one shall spoken against you, even the mutton. How? replied the countryman. The mutton will find in that part. I am very glad of that. Then the restitution shall be easy, since I shall not have to tell to the farmer, Neighbor, take your mutton again. Plato walking oneself a day to the field with some of their friends. They were to see him Diogenes, who was into the water until the chin. The superficies of the water was snowed for the reserve of the hole that Diogenes was made. Don't look it more, told them Plato, and he shall get out soon. A day came, a man consult this philosopher, for to know at a clock it was o to eat. If thou art rich, told him, eat when you shall wish, if you are poor, when you may do. At the middle of a night very dark, a blind was walk in the streets, with a light on the hand and a full jar upon the back. Someone which ran do meet him, and surprised of that light, simple that you are, told him, what serve you this light? 
The night and the day are not then the same thing by you. It is not for me, was answering the blind, that I bring this light. It is to the end that the giddy switch seem to you do not come to run against me and make to break my jar. Idiotisms and Proverbs The necessity don't know the low. Few, few the bird make her nest. He is not valuable to bread that he eat. It's are some blue stories. Nothing some money, nothing of Swiss. He sin in trouble water. A bad arrangement is better than a process. He has a good beak. In the country of blinds, the one-eyed men are kings. To build castles in Espanjish. Cat scalded fear the cold water. To do the fine spirit. With a tongue one go to Roma. There is not any ruler without an exception. Take out the live coals with the hand of the cat. A horse barred don't look him the tooth. Take the occasion for the hairs. To do a wink to somebody. Some many go the jar to spring, then at last rest there. He eat until to cant more. Which like Bertram love her dog. It want to beat the iron during it is hot. He is not so devil as he is black. It is better be single as a bad company. The stone as roll not heap up not foam. They shirt him the door in the face. He has found the knuckle of the business. He turns as a weath turkle. There is not better sauce who the appetite. The pains come at horse and turn oneself at foot. He is beggar as a church rat. So much go the jar to spring that at last it break there. To force to forge becomes smith. Keep the chestnut of the fire with the cat foot. Friendship of a child is water into a basket. At some time the misforte is good. Burn the politeness. Tell me whom thou frequent, I will tell you which you are. After the paunch comes the dance. Of the hand to mouth one lose often the soup. To look for a needle in a hay bundle. To crouch the marmoset. To buy cat in pocket. To be as a fish into the water. To make paps for the cats. To fatten the foot. To come back at their muttons. End of chapter 3. Recording by Elsie Selwyn. End of English as she is spoke by Pedro Carolino.